So this question says find the slope of this function at x equals 1. So let's think about what they're saying. Let's, what would this graph look like? Let's graph it real quick. This graph would be, if I factored x, I'd have a 0 and that negative 1, right? And it's opening up. So it's, it's doing something like this. Right, it's a parabola opening up. Right, so they're saying, what is the find the slope of that curve at x equals one? Well, what that means is, at x equals one, which is right here, here's one, and there's, I don't know how high it is. I might not be drawing this to scale, right? But roughly that point right there, what's the slope of the curve? What's the slope? And what that means is, what's the slope of the tangent line? That's what that means. So if I drew a tangent line in here, tangent line means it touches it at just exactly one point. Let me try that again. I know this is not perfect, but see that that line right there? Like let's say if it, let's say the point was right down at the bottom here. It's saying what's the slope of that curve? What's the slope of that line? That's what that means. Okay? So now, if you know the trick of finding the derivative, it's really easy to do that. But for this problem, they don't want you to use that. They want you to use the definition of derivative, which is, so they want us to use this formula, which is basically saying we're, we're making, we're basically taking two points, just to give you an idea of what's happening. We're taking two points and we're finding the slope of that line connecting those points, and then we're making those, oops, sorry, I shouldn't have put the points there. The points are on either side of this point right here. And then we're getting closer to that point. That's what we're doing. Do you see how this is rise over run? So H is this distance right here. It's the, H is that distance. So H is getting smaller and I'm finding and I'm, I'm basically zeroing in on that, and I'm looking for the limit of all of those tangent lines, and that's the formula for that. So the cool thing about algebra is when you plug this in, when I plug h, when I plug x plus h in to both of these, see how that's this first one? That's this one there. And then when I plug it into the other one, minus f of x, all over H. See what I did? I plugged in. I plugged X plus H in for X here and here. Oh, okay. That's how I come up with that. That's what they want you to do. And when I simplify this algebraically, what will happen is you'll be able to cancel the H's out. That happen that will always happen. So X squared plus two X H plus H squared plus X plus H minus f of x all over h. See, I just distributed this out right here. Okay, now, remember what f, what f of x is, actually I can plug that in too. It's x squared plus x, right? So this is gonna be, let me simplify this a little bit. We'll do that in purple. This is gonna be minus x squared minus x. You follow? No, because you distribute it. So now this and this are gonna cancel and so are that and that. And now I only have the terms with an H left in it. So I can factor that H out, right? So I've got H times 2X plus H. Yeah, 2X plus H. Thank you very much. Yes, plus one. Don't forget to hold that place there. Plus one all over H. So what's the limit? as h goes to zero of that, well these h's cancel out. And now I can just plug zero in for that h, and I just get 2x plus one. Okay, yeah, and then that's the tangent line? But now it says find the slope of that at x equals one. The rule is this is called the derivative, right? The derivative equals, we just found the derivative, 2x plus one. That's what, that's what the derivative is, so now I plug in f prime of 1, that's the slope of the tangent line at that point, which is 2 times 1 plus 1, plugged into the x there, which equals 3. 
So the slope of this line right here, this line, the tangent line, is 3. And that's the answer to the question. Okay.